To get to the bottom of wasp venom, it's important to understand exactly what pain is. Localized physical suffering associated with physical injury or disease. Basically, it's the nerves telling the brain, Hey, your arm is damaged. Or, move, your leg is on fire. The intended result is that the creature experiencing the pain will fight or flee, whichever best removes the threat of more physical damage. With wasp venom, the pain, which can be very intense, is an exaggeration of the actual physical damage. The sting enables the wasp to convince larger threats that it's capable of dishing out far more physical damage than one would expect from a creature so small. Wasp venom achieves this effect by waging a staged attack against the nervous system on a cellular level. First, the stinger delivers the venom to the victim's bloodstream. Second, peptides and enzymes in the venom break down cell membranes, spilling cellular contents into the bloodstream. When the cells in question are neurons, this breach causes the injured cell to send back signals to the brain. We receive these signals in the form of pain. Third, to make sure the pain keeps coming, other substances in the venom stop the blood flow. This is why the pain of the wasp sting can last for several minutes until the bloodstream can carry the diluted venom away. Fourth, finally, MCDP paved the way for the membrane-destroying elements in the venom to move onto other cells by melting through the connective tissue between them. This spreading factor leads to the swelling and redness associated with most insect stings. If you liked this video, click the screen to go check out my previous video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and post your questions down below in the comments.